Hi, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and today we're going to look at new Wakelet feature, which is Wakelet Spaces. So this is a brand new feature in Wakelet, and it's a real useful tool. So what Spaces essentially allows you to do is it allows you to create a separate area for collections and bookmarks, and it works a little bit like your main profile page. But within this, what you can actually do is you can actually make different content and different topics for each individual page rather than actually putting this onto your main profile. So for example, it could be that you've got a class collection space. And then within that, you are putting in multiple resources, collections, and bookmarks, all for that particular class. And that's where you would use a space. You may have three or four classes, even more. So what you can do is you can have a space for each individual class with its own profile page, and also then its own collections and bookmarks within them. What's really powerful about spaces, however, though, is you can even add contributors to those spaces. So for each class, you can add your students or fellow teachers to contribute to that space and make a page. So let's have a look now at Wakelet spaces and how we can use these to improve teaching and learning. I hope you find it useful. The first thing to do is probably just have a look at how Wakelet normally works. So here you'll see that you can add your collections directly into your Wakelet page by clicking the create new collection. And what you can also do is click on your profile to create a profile page and also organize your public collections into little spaces. It almost makes like a, a mini website, so to speak, where you can categorize your class materials or your topics, etc. And in here, you can edit a bio and create extra sections and create a menu. So, for example, myself as a teacher, I would often click create a class and create a class section within my own profile page. But this sometimes caused some issues. So, for example, it would have only one page. I may want to have subtopics within that class and that page. But also, I quite liked using Wakelet's profile page for my own blogs and personal use. So I didn't want to always put my class materials in there. You'll see here, for example, that I've got a class one section, but I can't have the subsections within there and I can't also have its own bio. So this is where spaces comes in. So on the left hand side, you'll now see under your profile a plus button and in here you can create a new space. So in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the image and I'm going to upload a little icon for one of my classes. So for example, I teach on computer science, so I'm going to make a computer science class page. So here I've created that space and then I'm going to name that space as well. Now it doesn't have to be classes, this could be anything, it could be topics of interest and more. But on this example, I'm just going to make it for my computer science. Here you'll see now I can actually create collections directly in that space without affecting my main page. So this keeps everything organized to computer science. So this is really useful. What I can do though is make extra spaces as well. So I don't just click, um, I don't just teach on computer science. I also teach on IT, for example. So there's my normal page. There's my computer science page. I'm now going to create some extra ones. So to do this, you just click the plus again, and in here, I'm very quickly just going to create an IT page. Again, I might also create some extra spaces for other areas of interest. So for example, I like traveling, and I'm also a runner. So I can create these spaces for different areas of Wakelet. See, once you've created those spaces, on the left-hand side, you'll be able to click them, and you'll also be able to then create collections with inside them. So here you'll see I'm just making a quick collection called Lesson Resources as an example to show you. Here you'll see that that collection has now been made within that specific space to keep all the information for computer science relevant. You can do this in any space that you like, as well as your main profile page as well. Once you have done this, you can also add extra things in here and edit the space settings. So here, for example, if you need to delete the collection or you need to change the name or the profile picture, you can do this by clicking space settings. So this is a top tip just to make sure you can manage the spaces if you don't need them anymore. Once you've done this, you can also change the profile visibility. So I'm going to change this to public. 
Now, what this will do is it will make the profile public, but you will also then be able to decide which collections you have public within that page. So you have to make the profile public so that people can see it. You'll also get the name as well. So here you'll see that when I click the name, you get a URL. You can then edit that profile like your main profile page. So what you can actually do here is you can make a topic page, a class page, for example. So here I am editing my computer science page. You can even edit the name and add a bio as well. So you're making a specific class page or a specific page for a hobby or an interest, whatever it is that you're making your space on. So this is really nice. It keeps it away from your main profile page, but also gives you a custom URL. You can add extra links as well. So you could add these to your YouTube panel or even extra Wakelet collections and spaces. You can also create sections in here, just like you can do in your profile. So here, for example, I'm going to make a lesson plan and a lesson resources section within that specific space. So I could do this for all of my classes to have a structured space for each one. When I click apply now, what we can do is we can actually preview this to see how this looks. You'll see at the moment I've not put any collections into this particular page because I've not yet made them public. So let's have a look at how I can do this. So here you'll see on the collection, I can change that visibility. I'm going to cut this to public and then I'm going to go back into my page now. So I'm in my space, make sure profile visibility is set to public. I'm going to then go to my space by clicking the name, the at or the URL. And then what I'm going to do now is edit the profile and I'm going to put this lesson resource into a category. You can drag and drop to reorder as well as also putting them into a specific section. So this keeps your space organized. So you basically have a space and then within spaces, you can have categories slash headings to keep them even more organized. So it's a real nice way of collect of keeping your collections nicely organized in particular pages. So here you'll see that my main page has not been affected by that class page. So you don't need to create extra Wakelet accounts or anything. You'll see then in my computer science, I have my computer science page that's nicely organized with my specific sections just for computer science. And you can do this for all of the individual spaces that you have. You can also in spaces add your own bookmarks so that you can have bookmarks specifically for that space that you've chose. But another way is you can also add members and this is where Wakelet becomes really powerful. So here you may have a team or a group of students or a co-teacher that you want to invite to actually contribute to that space. So for example, in my computer science page, I may ask my students to contribute resources, collections and bookmarks. So you can do that here. To do this, the students can then join that space using the code that you have given them and you just share that code or link with them. I hope you found this video useful. Please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. And if you have got any questions, drop a comment and I'll try and answer them. Thank you very much.